Thanksgiving football, we are back for year two. I'm in my Tilly Tilly shirt again for those watching the video. I wore this shirt last year, it seems festive for the holidays. And let me tell you guys something, for the first football game that's taking place on Thursday, you guys better be Tilly Tillying all this game, because that game's gonna be garbage. It's the Lions versus the Bears, and this game, unfortunately, it's just not going to be good. There's no way around it, really. You have two teams that aren't in playoff position, really. Bears, five and six, might think they are, but really they're pretenders at this point. It's pretty obvious. They barely got by the Giants last week. Mitch has been playing horrible. Lions, three, seven, and one. Their season's completely over. There's no Matt Stafford. Bears, five and six, three point favorite. Over under 38 and a half, and those are the numbers that people might care about. Other than that, I'm not sure why anyone would give a shit about this game. And the fact that it's on Thanksgiving at 12 o'clock is really disturbing to me. I also think the Lions should be taken off Thanksgiving. I've been saying that for years. I'm really sick of watching them on Thanksgiving. It's just not fun. It's a tradition, but sometimes tradition sucks, and they need to change it. And the Lions on Thanksgiving is just garbage. Yeah, um... I'm sick of it, I really am. This, this game on Thanksgiving, well, first off, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, so, with this game, you know, you don't get Stafford because of the back injury. It seems to me that guy just gets injured a lot, too. Matthew Stafford takes a lot of hits. He does. His offensive line is never what, it, what they need it to be. Um, look, here's the thing with this game. The Lions, I will give you this. They have been playing very hard with Driscoll, and it's really crazy to say because Jeff Driscoll – is a horrendous quarterback. He's pretty bad. Um, product from Florida Gators. Part of the reason why this game's going to be bad. Um, the thing is, with this, these two teams are just so bad. I'm I mean, stuck in the mud. It's here's the thing: you never know what you're going to get with Mitch Trubisky. He's playing with it with a bang, with an old man hip right now, <laughs> uh, and it's just it's really, like Dennis really Pitta. bad. Yeah, Dennis Pitta. <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, old man hips, holy shit. Dennis Pitta, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I but, to go, oh, my God, that was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> he and, told me not to, so I'll never forget that. Yeah. Like, he has old man hips, so I'd be drafted. So I'm like, oh, I'll be all right. I think he played, like, two games before he got injured with the hips again. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, that was bad. Dennis Pitta, <laughs> but, but, back, but with this, here's the thing with this game. I expect the line, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, the Bears defense to clamp down on this this. Quarterback, Andre really Skull. So. Pressure, stack the box, cover these receivers. You, Marvin, Jones, Marvin Jones has been nothing short of spectacular. Galladay has been solid. TJ Hawkinson in and out of the lineup. So here's the thing with this. You've got to cover. the. I, I, do not let Marvin Jones win this game because he could go crazy. Now, in regards to the Bears, I think the Bears, here's their recipe for success that they found. Get the ball to Tariq Cohen, no matter yes. how, what you got to do. Whether you got to do these screen passes, get him out in the flat. He's fast, he's quick, he's got great hands. He's the short, one of the shortest guys in the NFL. He makes plays. And also, start running the ball, the, the ball a lot more with uh, Montgomery, please. He gets the job done. He does anything you need him to do. And you got to be more, you got to be more balanced on offense for the Bears. You know, play, do more of those read options. The RPOs, it works out for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, they got a mass Mitch, basically. Yes, what you're saying. Yes, mass Mitch, turns. and get the ball <laughs> to your playmakers, especially Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson is your best receiver. Mm -hmm. He is so consistent. He's the, he's one of the main reasons you guys even are winning winning some games. But this defense has to clamp down. I, I expect Khalil Mack. He had a big game against the Giants. He's going to to really. He's not happy with the performance. This year so far, he's had a down year. But yeah. I expect him on Thanksgiving because you know what they give out if this, the Fox Five game, if this is on Fox or CBS, it is Fox. It's Fox this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, the winner of this game gets a WWE belt <laughs> and handed out by WWE superstar Braun Strowman. So they get a belt. Here's what I'm going to say right now: I expect this game to be not one-sided. It's going to go back and forth, believe it or not. Jeff Driscoll will get them in the red zone. They will get touchdowns. They will be scoring. You think so? But 
here's the thing. It all comes down to this. And yeah, I do think so. Jeff Driscoll, the past couple of weeks, has been playing actually not bad. Yeah, he's doing okay. But, uh, but he's going up against his defense. His defense yeah, can be stout. I don't really see it. That's the thing. So here's the thing. Tell I'm me. going to go. I'm going to be nice. <laughs> yeah, what would you say? I'm going to be I'm nice. Gonna be nice and give the Lions nice. 20 points. That's a lie. But the Bears are going to score 31. Wow. And here's That's the a thing. Lot too. Here's the thing. Mitch Trubisky, this is going to be the game where he actually plays somewhat decent. Oh. He's going to play well. I think Montgomery. Hot, I think the point. I think on offense. Here's here's one thing. I think that watch out for Taylor Gabriel. He's been getting more involved because this secondary of the Lions is not good. Other than Darius Slay, they're not good. They let go of Diggs. They're, they're the safety. Quandre Diggs in the, the uh, right. trade deadline. I think that that's been a, a huge downfall for I that. I think the Lions players didn't like that movie. I don't no, know, they didn't. A lot of people thought that was a bad trade. And the Lions, I don't think they've won a game since that happened, actually. No, they've been. They've been on a big losing streak. It's been bad. And with that, in regards to this, 31-20 Bears, I expect the Bears' defense to cause turnovers. They will let up 20 points. Yes, they will. I don't think so. But, but they're going to. They're going to cause turnovers when it matters the most. So when they're going down, I expect – I'm going to say Khalil Mack. I'm going to say two sacks and a forced fumble. That guy just knows how to get that ball out. So 31-20, yeah, Bears. All right, I'm going to go a little different here. But I agree the Bears cover the spread. That, that I agree with. But I'm saying it goes way under what you're thinking. I'm feeling more of an ugly, grinded out, sloppy, shitty, even though it's in the dome. 17-10 Bears. I just don't mm-hmm. see anything going on either offense. I mean, the Lions' defense, it's not great, but the Bears' offense is not great. Yeah. And the Bears only scored 19 points against the Giants in their own building. That's a bad sign to me. Right. Also, the Lions' offense against the Bears' defense is not a good matchup by any means. So, I agree. I, mean, I think Driscoll's going to get pounded. I think the Bears get four or five sacks on him. I think he turns it over two or three times. I think he's really going to get exposed against his Bears' defense. <laughs> and I think they're going to... I think Robinson will get a touchdown, and Montgomery gets a touchdown. And the Lions get one from Galladay. Oh, okay. So I, I'm going to go with 17-10 Bears in the snooze fest in the beginning of Thanksgiving. So that's the first game. Next up, this game I actually think is the best one of the day, and maybe you'll agree with me. Cowboys and the Bills. And this game has playoff implications for both teams, and this is actually worth watching. Bills 8-3. and three have been very surprising this year. They've beaten up on bad teams, but they're still in position to make the playoffs, so i got to give credit where credit's due. Dallas Cowboys, 6-5. and five. You saw them play last week. Very uninspiring game from Dallas. Amari Cooper was blanketed. I don't expect that to happen again. And I think the Cowboys, the Cowboys are a seven-point favorite. 45 is the over-under. I think that number is going to be pretty close. I see the Cowboys getting this tough 23-17 until I see this going down. I think the Bills will play close. I think it will be back and forth. I can see Allen making a turnover late. Byron Jones, pick six. All right, with this game, I'm going to tell you what. Here's what, one thing I'm going to say. What I saw from the Cowboys' offense against my New England Patriots is the fact that they got exposed, in my opinion. They looked bad. You have a secondary. Now, listen, they went up against the Patriots' be- secondary, which is the best in football, and Stephon Gilmore, who is the best cornerback in football. But... Here's the thing. You can cover those receivers and at least get somewhat pressure. Dak made it. Dak crumbled. I don't, I, never mind the weather. Here's one thing that I don't understand. They, they had success running the football. They didn't run Elliott enough. They did. They, had they put the, the ball in the hands of Dak Prescott and he failed. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. He's not that dude still. I mean, he's, no. he's, 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 he's played better this season, but... He doesn't go out there and win you games. No, really. no, he doesn't, and that's a problem. Elliot wins the game yes. when he gets the ground game. Elliot is the closer. You bring the closer in to shut down the door and end the game. I also think it's asinine that Prescott's an MVP talks. He's not an MVP. The MVP award goes to one person, Lamar Jackson. End <laughs> of story. Now, and back to this game, I'm going to tell you this. That Buffalo Bills team is good, offensively and defensively. And this defense is just as, I'm not going to say they're on New England's level, but they're just as good as New England. So, here's what's going to happen. The Buffalo Bills have the formula to, and they just saw a blueprint how to beat Dallas. Dallas right now, playing on 
Thanksgiving again, and I agree. Watching the Lions and the Cowboys is getting annoying. Cowboys I can live with. At least they're somewhat relevant. So, Lions are just ridiculous. Here's what I'm going to tell you. This game, I expect this game to have – I'm going to go high scoring as well. Here's what I'm going to tell you. This game, I do expect them to run the ball more with Zeke, but it's going to be hard against this front second. The Bills have a good defense. However – Amari Cooper's going to have more than no okay, – because Amari Cooper was shut down the other day. That That's amazing. That's not going to happen. He's going to be angry. He's angry. He wants to play. He's going to make plays against Tredavious White. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Here's, here's what I'm going to say about this. Josh Allen's going to make plays against this putrid defense of the uh, Cowboys. That secondary of Dallas is horrendous. I'm sorry. Except Byron Jones. Except Byron Jones. The front seven – of Dallas is okay. If Van Der Esch can play, because here's the thing, without uh, Jordan, uh, Leighton Van Der Esch, and you could agree with me, they, they're a different team. No, he's questionable. I didn't even know. Yeah, his neck. Did, so, he, can, did he not finish a game against you guys? He didn't, he play, didn't play. He didn't play. Wow. And here's the thing. I love Jalen Smith. Sean Lee is a walking injury. You never know what's going to happen with him. But he's playing as of now. Yeah, he's playing as of now. Now, now, watch him get hurt on Thursday. So, here's here here's what I think. You're gonna call me crazy. I'm going with Buffalo on this one. Oh, so there's a difference on Thanksgiving. I'm going with Buffalo. Damn Buffalo. boy, Josh Allen is going is going into the, and they're they're in Dallas. Am I right? They're in the big they're in Big D. Yeah, they're in Big D. He's going into Jerry's world, baby. Uh, jo- uh what's Jason Garrett's job on the line? J- they lose this game. This is it. That's it. That's it. You're six and six. You lose to the Bills. You're out. I don't think they do that in the spot, though. I, I think I think they should. They were talking about this on the radio for the past couple of days. They think that uh, uh, it would be the interim in this situation. Rashard. Because they're still fighting for the playoffs. That's the thing. Like, the Eagles stink. So the Cowboys are very much in playoff mode, even if they lose to the Bills somehow. I know, but the, the problem is is that... I get what you're saying, They, they need to win these games. This is this is prime time. This is Thanksgiving. This is a game that Dallas should I always win. they're win, a touchdown favorite. They should win, yeah. This is the problem. Here's the thing. The Buffalo Bills offense is so dynamic. They can beat you in so many ways, whether it's giving the ball to Singletary, whether it's Josh Allen throwing to John Brown, who's been John nothing Brown. short of spectacular for them. Great. Cole Beasley been tremendous. He's been good. Um, who's, a, who's somebody? Uh, Singletary. Right. No, the, whoever, they, they have four tight ends. By the way, Buffalo, can you get Tommy Sweeney a little bit more involved? Yeah, Come on, the guy who makes plays. Uh and also another thing is they got Frank Gore. Oh, reliable Frank Gore. Just passed Barry Sanders. Yes, he did. Congratulations. So with this, Buffalo's going to get this win. They're going to win 31-28 to and a game-winning field goal because Josh Allen brings them down. Wow, that would be some game, and we got a difference on that one. So I think it's going to be – that. I think that's the best game of the day, honestly. Absolutely. So the nightcap is an interesting one. Saints and Falcons. Saints 9-2, and two, Falcons 3-8. and eight. Last time these two played, there was a big upset for Atlanta. Saints are a seven-point favorite in this spot. And the Falcons, they really shit the bet against the Bucs. There's no other way to put it. They just didn't show up to play again. Dan Quinn is still going to get fired, most likely. I thought there was a chance he could maybe save his job, but I think that's going to have the window now. Unless the Falcons really finish strong here, but I don't think they could beat the Saints again. The Saints already lost to them. They're not going to be sleeping this time. I think it might be a close game. I think the Falcons might be a little hyped to try to upset the Saints season, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I got 30, 32, let's see, 30 for the Saints. I'll give the Falcons 26. I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to disagree with you on this one. They're not going to lose this game. The Saints are on a roll. Michael Thomas is a whole nother animal, man. And this defense, even though this defense of the Falcons has been playing a lot better, it's not going to be enough to beat this Saints team. It's not going to be enough. But I do think they're going to score points on the defense, and I think Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley are going to do do damage. Also, another thing, Devontae Freeman, he was a, pra- a participant in practice today on a limited basis. You've got to monitor to see if he will play. Yeah. My best bet is I think he will play because they're going to need him. We've got to see how, uh, how uh, productive he can be. However, with that being said, with this game, Michael Thomas, like I said, is going to have another big day. I'm going to, I'm going to say over 10 catches again. The, the guy's an animal. Do you think he gets the record? Yes. Yes, he does. We'll have to try to check to see. Right now he's at 104. 
And he's got... And the record's 143 by Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison. Oh, he, has a, he has a shot, actually. Five gonna, games left. So yep, he's going to break it. If he catches, like, nine a game, he'll get it. He'll get it. He'll get close. To, at least, if he doesn't get it, he'll get it. He'll not get it by, like, maybe a couple catches, but receptions. However, with this, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley will put up, will get yards. I think they can score a touchdown each. Not going to be enough. Alvin Kamara is getting hot. Uh, Trey Quan Smith, I could see having a good day. They're getting Jared Cook into the mix. Everybody's getting involved for the Saints. Here's the thing. Saints going to win this game 34-27. So we both agree Falcons are just around covering. We both have the over on this. I think there'll be a lot of points in this one as well. Julio, I really want to see get going. He's been slow the last few weeks. And very frustrated. I think he's also dealing with more injury issues. What else is new, unfortunately? 950 yards in the season. I would expect more from this point. I mean, he's. I mean, I say that with five games left, but it's Julio Jones. And normally, he would be over a thousand yards by now. And he's 60 through four receptions is pretty well for him too. I feel like at this point, um, just the four touchdowns again. I really hope they can get him going. I think Ridley's been hot. You you hit the nail on the head with Ridley. He's I love so Calvin Ridley. Ridley. He's so good. Yeah, and he's. Gonna, and it, He's going to keep it rolling. Again. And a great compliment to Julio, too. Yeah, I think he'll get into the end zone again. So that's our turkey day prediction. Recap quickly. We both agree the Bears get the win. I have the Bears covering. Bobby also has the Bears covering. And I just have a lower score than he does. We disagree with Cowboys and Bills. Um, he has over. I have under. Saints and Falcons were in agreement. We both have the Saints and we both have the over. Yeah. So that's our recap for Thanksgiving. Hopefully everyone has a happy holiday. Enjoy the content. Thank you for listening. Follow us at GNC Sports Talk 2 on Twitter and Instagram. Like, subscribe, sponsor, Apple Podcasts, GNC Sports Talk. Thanks, everyone.